everyone welcome to today's video um, today's video is going to be a palette collection I'm not crazy about how many palettes I have I just really like eyeshadow palettes some of this are like face palettes um, stuff like that so I'm doing it today because I just love watching these videos and I like seeing what people have, what people don't like as much, what people they do like. And so I thought, why not just like do the collection video? <laughs> so I have a makeup blog called Dazzling Makeup Reviews. So if you want to go check that out, I named like my best, my favorite palettes of 2017. And the link for that blog will be in the description box below. Obviously, since I'm a small channel, I'm not sponsored, but I also spent my own money on these. So if, I don't want anyone to think that like, like you know, somebody like just bought all these for me because that's definitely not the case. I mean, a couple of these were Christmas gifts. Um, yeah, and I have gotten rid of some. And okay, we'll get started. Okay, so the first one I have is the Anastasia. Moonchild palette. Look at this puppy. Love it. I'm not gonna go in depth about each one. I'm just gonna like show you and then, like move on. Naked Smoky. Oh my god. This one is so good for like you can do like super neutral looks, but then you can like go in there with like that like sparkly color armor. And you can just like go ham. So you can totally do more than just like a smoky look with this. I'm kind of surprised that they're getting rid of the Anastasio Prism palette. I originally thought like eh about this palette when I was thinking about buying it. But when I swatched it, I was like, oh my god, yes, this is amazing. This is such a good palette. The Tarte Make Believe in Yourself palette. You guys probably know what this looks like. Just a big circle. You know, butter and honey. This isn't my necessarily like favorite palette, but I still like it. And I feel like I need to use this more. The Tardis Pro eyeshadow palette. Oh my god, I'm wearing this on my eyes today. This is so good. Like, I totally recommend this. I have me two planner palettes from Too Faced. This is the smaller one. I have yet to try this out on my eyes. Not pretty. Okay, and then I have the best year ever big one. So it's like a bronzer blush highlight. There you go. Really pretty eyeshadows. I really like Pinecone and Jolly. They were like kind of darker ones. So I have the Tarte Holiday palette. This one is, oh, I think this is, no, this is definitely the Ulta one. So it opens up in like a, a diamond kind of thing. And I was like highlighter, two blushes, and that bronzer down here. This one is pretty. This I got out of a boxy charm, and this is the Pure, Pure Cosmetics Soiree Diaries eyeshadow palette. I haven't really used this a whole lot, mainly because, like, I have a lot left. But I... I need to give this a little more time. I need to play with it a little more before I like make my full opinion on this. Rock Ocean Unzipped Ocean Sunset. I love the rock shadows. These are just beautiful. And the like the unzipped palettes, the ones that came out with over the summer are just beautiful. I don't have the desert sunset though. That's so pretty. <laughs> I have this Beach Cosmetics Glamorous Blush Palette. If you want really, really nice blushes um, for really cheap, you need to go to BH Cosmetics because, oh my gosh, the, I, this palette I think was originally like $10, um, but I got on sale for like 6 BH Cosmetics is constantly having a sale, so like go check them out. And so I literally just tapped my finger into this. I'm like, I'm sorry, I don't mean to flip you off, but it is like bold it is so crazy pigmented Too Faced like totally cute palette 
this is like I guess it's the a girl's best friend eyeshadow palette, but oh my god, I was like uh pass, and then I saw it, and I'm like okay, bare essentials palette. I got this back in May after I oh, I don't remember whose video I saw, but it's like but these colors are like a very nice purpley like pinky toned somebody's video and I was like dang like bare minerals isn't really on my radar most of the time but I was like <laughs> Too Faced just peachy mattes um this is this is just like you all know what this looks like Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero y'all know what this looks like too I destroyed one of them down here for a tart palette. Yes, I have an issue. Okay. It's like this. Got some blushes, bronzers, a big highlight, and really nice eyeshadows. This one smells like vanilla. You've got like an eyeliner and a couple of things in there. But yeah, this is really like quite thick. H Cosmetics Galaxy Chic Palette. You're looking for something on a budget, but that's really good quality. This palette. I'm telling you. Bhcosmetics.com. They have a sick. I have the Sweet Peach Glow Kit. I've used this quite a lot. I would say um, a lot of people are like, oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I do. I really like it. Like, I think the highlighter is a little chunky for my liking, but the other like the bronzer and the blush since i'm so pale it looks really nice on my skin tone i have both of the becca holiday palettes this one is for eyes look at that oh this is reflection is just terrible oh gosh okay you guys kind of know what that looks like and then i have the face palette right back here these are both really nice. <clears throat> Sweet Peach Palette. You know what it looks like. That's from last year's Too Faced holiday um, collection. This was like the Christmas in New York one. They have peppermint. They have the peppermint mocha. Oh, like a highlighter all over my pants. Um, eggnog latte. And gingerbread cookie. Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Palette. This is such a beautiful palette. Oh, dying. But you've seen this before. So this is from Ulta, actually. This is the NYX Happy Birthday eyeshadow palette. It has a lot of like fall shades to it. Um, yeah, this is my birthday gift from Ulta. Winky Lux Kitten Palette. Ever I got this in a boxy term too, and I was like, like, what the, the heck? Like, what is this palette? I don't know a lot from Winky Lux. I have a friend who's like really into the brand and they're like, Winky Lux is so good, like you gotta try it out. And I was like, eh. And I tried it out and oh my gosh, these are very nice. I totally recommend this palette. I'm not sure how much it is since I did come on my boxy charm, but I'm impressed. Another BH Cosmetics palette, um, I'm kind of obsessed. Uh, this is my six color backlight highlighting palette. These are like duochrome highlighters. You can see back here they're kind of like there's a blue one there's a yellowy one pinky almost like purpley one they're like super cool and like here's it on the skin here's it on the skin right here it's super fun so if you want a nice highlighter palette these ones are bigger compared to the Anastasia one this is huge, and this comes with a mirror, so it's like $16. Tardis Pro Glow, I got this from Sephora when they had like their deal, so this was on sale, because I was like, I'm not spending $45 on this. Um, so I got it for like 20 something, and I was really happy. This is a nice palette though, I really like it. Decay Full Spectrum, I don't have a lot of color palettes. I don't really want a lot of colored palettes, but this one is really nice to have. I really need to dip into this more because I do like this middle purple called Sketch. And I like these pinks on the side too. NARS Bord de Plage. Um, highlighting and bronzing palette. 
this is quite a beauty right here. Little pricey, I kind of regret buying this for the price, uh, but that's another, that's another story. Little <laughs> kit from Anastasia. Y'all know what this looks like. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Heartlet in bloom. You know what this looks like. I have the chocolate bar palettes. These are really fun. They're really cute, first of all. Um, I kind of want to do some tutorials with these, but they all are kind of neutral, so let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, they're just they're really cute, but I have heard a lot of mixed things about them because they're like, mm, they're kind of cheesy, they're kind of childish. Like, let me know if you would like maybe like some tutorials or whatever, like a series of these. I really want to play with these more. So, Benefit Cheek Parade. This is the one with Hula Light, Hula, California, Dandelion, and Rock Tour. I'm not a big Benefit fan. I just like never really have been. I've never really been drawn to their brand. There's some stuff that I'm like, oh my god, that's really, really good. But I haven't really been drawn to their brand besides like this palette. Like this palette is so freaking nice. And it smells really good too. Yeah, this was $60. This is kind of expensive, but they have five full size items in here. So it's a good deal. Modern Renaissance. You all know. Twinkle Volume 2 palette. This was like $42 at Sephora. But then they it was like half off. So it's like, okay, now it's justifiable. Because some of these palettes you're like, I would never pay full price for these and then you're looking back and you're like yeah good thing i got like this for 20 dollars instead of like 40 dollars urban decay gun stefani palette oh my god i love this i got this at a nordstrom rack <laughs> but this is really nice i like the packaging of it it's just so sturdy and i like the magnetic closure i like that with palettes this is from this year's Too Faced holiday collection um has like a set of three palettes. This one is I Believe in Pink. Super cute. Super fun night. And then Natural Beauty. I haven't really gotten to play with these too much. I want to more. But I haven't really gotten the chance, so I'll be doing that soon. Chocolate Gold Palette, because I'm super extra, and yeah. I love this palette. Oh my god. Look at this. Yes, it smells like chocolate too. I want to do some more stuff with this. I haven't as much as I'd like to, but I just got this a couple weeks ago. So, cover shot palettes. This one is in a blaze. It's just the warmer one, like that. And then I have Golden Hour, which is more of like a golden pinky peach purple kind of one. The Bare Minerals Hidden Treasure. I kind of regret buying this. I don't use it as much as I should, but hey, maybe new culture. This is such a controversial pa controversial palette. Um, I, you guys are going to get this. I like this palette. Um, it's not my total favorite where I'm like, this is the number one palette of all time, but I love the colors. They are just so like different. I really like Rowdy and Access. Those those are my two favorites right on the end. Um, they're so fun and I know people say like, oh they're so powdery and they're so hard to blend and like I had no problems blending this. So I don't know. Don't take everyone's review. Like don't take one person's review and just be like that's gonna be my opinion too. This is the Becca Chrissy palette. <laughs> you all know. Enough said. Too Faced White Chocolate Chip. This is the only white chocolate thing I'll be getting. The big chocolate, like the big chocolate bar palette. Heck to the no. Not gonna happen. It's too similar to this palette and it just, it just doesn't do it for me. This natural love. This one, I do they even still sell this? Like, I don't know, but I love this. This is so pretty, and it was $60, which is kind of a lot, but it's very versatile. I 
like it. Okay, um, Mountain Sunset from La Rock. Oh my god, this is, uh, this is so pretty. Look at these cool tones. I love this one called Smoke Signal. I'm not, oh, I want to do swatch, even though I'm like, don't do swatches. Look at that blue. It's like so pretty. Oh my god. Um, they got some really nice mattes in here. These three, this really nice like orangey color, lavender, like definitely if you're looking for like one palette, go for the unzipped series from the rock they're so good or the rock pro 3 this is the only pro palette i have this was my first one of my first high-end palettes ever i started getting makeup recently actually like i was always like into it and i'm like oh i like makeup but i started getting into the more like high-end stuff and like like a couple years ago and i got this uh for my 19th birthday and yeah, this one is is a very well-loved palette, let's just say that. Um, Tarte Sex Kitten, I think it's such a weird name for a palette, like, why? Okay, but look at those colors, like, girl, oh my god, they're so pretty. It's such a good, like, fall, winter palette. Oh, it's like, this is kind of the new pretty from Tarte, it's one of those, like, book things. It's a highlighter, bronzer, blush kind of thing, <laughs> kind of thing. Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifter. I love this. Um, I want to know Noelle 83's review on this, and she was like, get this. This is actually really good. It's not a gimmick. It has all these cream, has like creams and powders, and she said it was a really good deal, and I agree. This is really nice. I have the Rock California Dreamin' Palette. A lot of people, when I heard they were like, this is a hit or miss palette. Um, not really. <laughs> I mean, I like it because the shades are different. You know, you don't have like your light brown, dark brown, black, white. I mean, you have like this like lavender color. You have like hot toddy, like I said, pinky, like orangey color. You have like this weird shade, kitty cat, which is super metallic. Let's swatch down here give different ones. So I think it's fun to have on hand. I think I got this on sale at Ulta because, because like I love getting stuff on sale. If you know me, I use Ulta coupons. Like they are just like going out of style. <laughs> so if you can ever get something like sign up for their rewards programs or you can get stuff like your whole purchase, like 20% off, including prestige brands, um, do it. And also, Sephora has this thing where, like, they're putting stuff on sale every week. Like, take advantage of that. And, like, the subculture was on sale. Um, they put, like, Urban Decay stuff on sale. Everything is on sale there. So, um, just keep your eye out for it. So, you don't have to, you don't always have to spend full price for stuff. And that's kind of how I like to live with my <laughs> uh, makeup sense. Like, Okay, the Tartlet Toasted. I bought this, but I waited until the VIB sale so I could get it for 20% off. Because it's like, there's no way. Okay, I'm still in college. Okay, I have a job. I do all that stuff. But I was like, I'm not going to spend $46 on this. Um, I did with the Tartlet and Bloom because that was like such a good palette. But I was like, I want it, but... Mm -hmm. And so I went... I was going to Sephora to get some gifts and stuff for Christmas and totally take advantage of these sales. Like, they're so good. And do you ever get buying this? No. Would I spend full price on this? No. The I Want Candy Palette from Too Faced. Oh my god, look at this. This is so cute. I love it. OG Naked. <laughs> This is actually the last naked palette I purchased. I did have two and three, but they were really old, and I didn't want to hang on to them because they weren't really being used. And they were about four years old, so I was like, they need to go. They're, it's not good for them to be there. Um, and then after I threw those out, I was like, I do want to try the original naked, though. And I do like naked three. I might rebuy it, like, way in the future. Not now, because I have enough eyeshadow. 
but this is a nice one. I have it from Too Faced. This, Too Faced is one of my favorite eyeshadow brands. Same with like Urban Decay, Tarte, Lorac. Basically, everything that you've seen here I like. Um, this is really cute. This is my first high-end palette when this came out. I was like, beginning of 2016, I was like, I need it. <laughs> Even though I was like, okay, you know, no you don't. And I was like, you know what, I like it. And so for like most of that semester of college after my mom got it for me for I think it was like an Easter present or something really cute like that. I was rocking like a warm neutral look with some purple like all the time. <laughs> Cause I was like, I was like, I'm cool, I'm cool. Mm, mm. You know, I, I wasn't cool, just, just say it. <laughs> um, Jacob's palette, these are the iconic palettes. I want more of these, but these are $50 a piece. Like what? What? No. No. Okay, just no. I bought one because it's at Janie Page. Talk about editorial, and I was like, girl, I need editorial too. I love it. I, I love this. Maybe, maybe I'll get one for like my 21st birthday. Maybe. Probably not though, because you know I cannot justify paying fifty dollars for one of these. I did when I had the money because it was something that I was like, oh my god, I really want it, and I really thought about it before buying it, and I was like, this is really really good. Will I buy all of them? Probably no, no. Just let's just put that as a no. <laughs> this is the Christmas in New York palette from Too Faced. Um, this is their, their 2016 holiday collection. It smells like chocolate. And fun fact, actually in this palette, there, there are some dupes as there are in the white chocolate chip palette. And white chocolate chip palette, there's dupes. There's like the same shades in the cho white chocolate bar palette. So, brands will do that. They will dupe, they will dupe the shades, they will rename shades, but it's always the same. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I hope you guys take the opportunity. Oh, there's a kitty. I hope you guys take the opportunity to go check out my blog. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.